Hi guys, today I'd like to discuss how to effectively manage an oily scalp while balancing that horrid frizzy dry hair. We all want healthy, smooth, shiny hair. The kind that doesn't get greasy too quickly after shampooing is easy to style even after a night's sleep and doesn't dry out too easily. That's the dream, right? But actually, achieving this requires a personalized hair care routine tailored to your unique needs. Just like skincare, there is no one-size-fits-all routine for perfect hair. But coming up, we have some really useful info to help you identify the source of your hair issues and figure out how to fix them. Trust me, you need to know this stuff. First, let's address two critical factors dealing with an oily scalp and understanding how porous hair can be. These two are the basis for almost all hair problems, so understanding what's going on is half the battle. An oily scalp is usually caused by overactive sebaceous glands. Those are glands which produce sebum, a natural oil that moisturizes and protects both your scalp and your hair. Several things can contribute to this, including genetics, hormonal fluctuations, overwashing or underwashing, the use of heavy or oily hair care products, climate and weather conditions, dietary choices, incomplete rinsing, and underlying medical conditions like seborrheic dermatitis, scalp psoriasis, or fungal infections. Nasty! The best way to beat an oily scalp is the double washing technique. Why double, you ask? Because this method helps balance sebum production. The first wash removes excess oil and impurities, while the second one cleanses more gently, preventing the scalp from overcompensating with too much oil production. This technique can keep your scalp fresh for up to 4 or 5 days before the next wash. Now, that's what I call a result. A good shampoo should be gentle, have a balanced pH, be free from harsh ingredients such as sulfate, have a mild, pleasant fragrance, be nourishing, and leave minimal residue after rinsing. When you're sampooing, focus on gently massaging your scalp with your fingertips. There's really no need to apply shampoo to the rest of your hair because it will actually be clean during rinsing. Excellent! After washing, let your hair air dry naturally or use a hair dryer on a cool or low heat setting to minimize damage. Toweling dry like a maniac can really damage your hair, so don't do that. When it comes to diet and lifestyle, making smart choices can make a big difference. Diets high in unhealthy fats and refined sugars can cause excessive sebum production. To maintain balanced sebum levels, you need to eat foods rich in healthy fats like omega-3 fatty acids found in salmon, mackerel, and sardines. Flax seeds, chia seeds, as well as vitamins A, C, E, zinc, probiotics, and antioxidants such as dark chocolate, strawberries, and kale. You'll probably be surprised by this, but exercise and stress management also play crucial roles in keeping your scalp healthy. Hair porosity refers to how porous your hair is, and its ability to absorb and retain moisture and other substances. Genetic factors, age, damage from excessive heat styling, and chemical treatments such as coloring, perming, relaxing, or harsh brushing or combing can all impact hair porosity. We can break this down into three main levels of hair porosity. Low porosity hair resists absorbing water and products, making it appear dry and resistant to styling. However, once moisture is trapped, it tends to stay locked in, which can result in your hair feeling heavy or greasy. Medium porosity hair, generally well-balanced, responds well to various hair care products and is less prone to extreme dryness or excessive oiliness. High porosity hair, tends to become dry quickly because it absorbs moisture easily, but struggles to retain it. It can appear frizzy, lack shine, and be more susceptible to damage. If you want to find out what your hair's porosity is, you can try the float test. Place a clean strand of hair in a bowl of water. If it floats, you likely have low porosity hair. If it sinks slowly, it's medium porosity. And if it sinks quickly, you have high porosity hair. 
Now, let's choose the right hair products for your hair specific level of porosity. For low porosity hair, opt for sulfate free shampoos with lightweight or weightless formulas. Try using a clarifying shampoo occasionally to prevent too much buildup of product residues. Choose a lightweight, water-based conditioner. Avoid protein-based products that can weigh down your hair. Go for protein-free, lightweight deep conditioners and consider using heat like a hot towel during deep conditioning to help open the cuticles. Look for lightweight, water-based leave-in conditioners only. Gels and mousses are the best options when it comes to styling your hair as they tend not to leave excessive residue. If you're gonna use hair oil, select lightweight ones like argan oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and grapeseed oil. For medium or normal porosity hair, you're very lucky because you have a super wide range of products to choose from. Pick a sulfate-free shampoo with moisturizing and hydrating formulas. Look for conditioners, deep conditioners, and leave-in conditioners that provide a good balance of moisture and protein. Choose styling products that match your individual needs, whether it's curl definition, better volume, or smoothness. For hair oil, you can choose from safflower oil, olive oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, and avocado oil. For high porosity hair, you need to opt for sulfate-free moisturizing shampoos to prevent any more moisture loss. Try co-washing. That's using a specially designed conditioner as a cleanser between shampoos. Choose rich, creamy conditioners that offer really deep moisturizing and help repair the hair's cuticle. Very important. For even deeper conditioning, look out for products with ingredients like shea butter, oils, and humectants like glycerin, honey, and aloe vera. Humectants are substances that keep things moist. Use leave-in conditioners with a heavy consistency that will seal in moisture and provide extra protection for your poor hair. Creams, oils, and butters work well for styling high porosity hair. These products can help seal the cuticle and prevent any more moisture loss. You can use the usual hair oils like jojoba oil, argan oil, olive oil, avocado oil, and even coconut oil in moderation. Apply the oil to damp hair or use it as a sealing treatment after applying leave-in conditioner to lock in moisture. Now, let's talk about flaxseed gel. You've probably already heard something about this stuff. The good news is, it can be beneficial for all types of porous hair, but its use and advantages may vary depending on exactly how porous your hair is. For low porosity hair, Flaxseed gel made by boiling flax seeds in water can serve as a lightweight natural styling product that defines curls without weighing them down too much. Medium porosity hair can also benefit from flaxseed gel, which provides hold and definition without causing buildup. There are lots of homemade deep conditioning treatments around, and adding flaxseed gel to these treatments can really help with additional moisturizing and making the products easy to apply. For high porosity hair, flaxseed gel is especially useful as it locks in moisture and provides a protective layer to prevent moisture loss. You should try adding it to any deep conditioning treatments for enhanced moisturization. You'll be amazed at the results. Lastly, and this is super important, don't forget about the importance of a heat protectant when using heat styling tools. A heat protectant is a must to seal your hair from heat damage. Choose one with an HPF of at least 300 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately 150 degrees Celsius, that is alcohol-free, paraben-free, and contains protective and moisturizing ingredients like panthenol, natural oils, and vitamin E. So be kind to your hair, treat it gently, and you'll be on your way to healthy, beautiful locks. Cool? Cool.